Sophia here for my great challenge. Welcome back to my channel. It's Saturday night. I am making dinner tonight instead of having the usual pot pies that Scott puts in the oven. Uh, I wanted to do something a little bit different only because I'm feeling good and uh, I'm tired of pot pies. So I am making meatloaf and potato gratin tonight. Um, I'm going to show you the ingredients for the meatloaf. I'm going to prepare it first and then I'll do the potatoes. It's super easy. I'm making a beef meatloaf, just beef, no other meat. Um, of course, if you want to get the meatloaf mix, you can do that, but you need two pounds. Um, and everything else is just dump everything together, shape your meatloaf, put it in the oven, and you're done. This is a very easy recipe. I got it from a website. I'll put the link down below. It's called uh, Yummy Healthy easy I don't know if you can see it right here and this is the meatloaf I'm going to make tonight the website says uh, that it's got uh, a five star um, preparation time is 10 minutes cooking time is an hour and 15 minutes total time one hour 25 minutes calories 201 per slice and this is going to make six to eight servings so with two teenagers in the house it's basically one meal <laughs> because they both gonna have two slices so let's get started so let's get started uh, you need two pounds of beef this is from Steakhouse Elite bought it at my regular um, supermarket it's uh, a company Kobe Beef America I'm not sure uh, Kobe style beef so it's got to be pretty high in fat um, doesn't say here does it 360 calorie per serving Oh boy, so forget about what I said on calories. We bought like heavy duty beef, but anyway, you need one onion, one yellow onion. You're going to dice. This is three fourths of a cup of oats, and I get the Red Mill uh, brand. You need a half a cup of tomato sauce. I'm using leftover tomato sauce that I had in the fridge, and this is actually a Italian sausage uh, type, so it's gonna give it even more flavor. All right, you need one tablespoon of Worcestershire, <laughs> we go again, Worcestershire sauce. I know you guys are going to tell me how to pronounce it. You tell me that every single time. Um, I never know how to pronounce it. So it's this one, Worcestershire sauce, one tablespoon. This here is a half a teaspoon of ground pepper, one teaspoon of garlic salt and one teaspoon of onion salt. I actually have a little bit more than that, but that's okay. Uh, and then two eggs and that's it. So the only thing you need to actually prep is the onion, slice it, dice it, and then you put everything together and shape it into a loaf. How hard is that? Let's turn the uh, oven on. Here it says oven at 350 degrees. First things first, Dice the onion. And then you just go ahead and mix everything together. Now this lady, Jen, she says that you don't want to over mix. All right, I think that's enough onions. I'm gonna keep those to the side and they're gonna go in the fridge and I'll reuse them tomorrow um, in an omelette or something. And again, I don't want to overmix, so I'm going to put that to the side and prepare the glaze. For the glaze, I need three quarter of a cup of ketchup. So here's one. 
got a brand new bottle of ketchup just for that. Just a teehee, by the way. I do not eat ketchup unless it's on meatloaf. I don't put ketchup on fries. I don't put ketchup maybe on hot dogs. That's about it. But otherwise, I really don't like ketchup. And to my ketchup, I'm adding a quarter of a cup of brown sugar and two half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Put a little bit of pan right here, and there we go. So you basically bring all your meat together and try to make a loaf, and then you pat it down to shape it whichever way you want. And before it goes in the oven, I'm going to take my glaze and cover my meatloaf with it. So, timer on. We want an hour and 15 minutes. We'll check on it, start the time, and here goes. Done. When I come back, I'm starting the potatoes. So I'm ready to make a super easy and fast potato gratin, and that's from the same website, uh, Yummy Healthy Easy. And actually that link is in the meatloaf uh, link and this is um, taking a little bit longer, an hour and a half. So what I'm going to do is blanch the potatoes before I put them in the dish so that way they're kind of pre-cooked. So you need uh, a bunch of potatoes. I have seven. You need one onion, three tablespoons of butter and three tablespoons of uh, flour or purpose flour two cups of milk, salt, pepper, and one and a half cup of cheddar cheese that's shredded. You can use Gruyere if you want to. First things first, I have to peel the potatoes. So when I come back, potatoes will be peeled. I'll just slice them and put them in my boiling water so that they can blanch for about 10 minutes to soften them. And then we'll start layering the gratin. and slice my potatoes and one of these easiest way uh, to do it for me is to grab them with a paper towel so that way they're not slippery let me see what kind of slice I have here yeah that's good So what I'm going to do is just blanch my potatoes um, for about 10 minutes and it's going to assist with the cooking once I put it in the oven because otherwise the last thing you want is a gratin that looks like it's done and then when you bite into your potatoes they are not cooked. So I'm basically pre-cooking them. It's not in the recipe, I've just decided to do that because I'm running a little bit behind. And I'm back to the chopping board, except that this time, instead of uh, dicing my onions, I'm going to slice them. And I think I bought onions way too big. But we like onions in this family, so it's not a major issue for us.
You know what? Let me use the magnet. I'll use this instead. So while my potatoes are blanching, I'm going to start melting my butter. I'm going to add my flour and what I'm trying to do here is keep mixing it then add the milk I'm going to go ahead and add some pepper and a little bit of salt. As it starts to thicken, I'm adding the cheddar cheese and give it a good stir. I'm basically waiting for all the cheese to melt. See how it's thickening already? So what I did here is uh, put some Pam spray at the bottom. I just drained all my potatoes and I'm going to just layer them. They don't have to be perfectly layered. Okay, again, this is not the Cordon Bleu kitchen. We're just making casual meals. Try to have the same amount layered. Now, if you were doing this with the cold potatoes, uh, if you had more time than me to cook them, then you can really layer them pretty. But they're very hot, so I'm just layering them using the uh, the tong thing okay so one layer of potatoes oh we don't like this one nope not you okay let's put one more right here and then add a layer of onion And when that's done, add another layer of potatoes. Cover everything with the cheese mix that I just made on the stove. going to cover this and that goes in the oven for supposedly an hour and a half 
For me, it's probably going to be more like an hour and 10 minutes because uh, I pre-cooked the potatoes. So let me put it in the oven and once everything is done, I'll show you what it looks like because that's all you got to do. Towards the last 15 minutes, if you want to remove the uh, uh, top, you can if, and add cheese um, to get it a little bit more um, gratiné. That's fine too. This is done. Okay, so what I did was uh, put the meatloaf, uh, sliced it, and put it in the um, uh, corningware because that way it's already ready to go in the fridge later on because we're definitely not going to eat all of that. And I've tried it, it's really good. Now, the potatoes, I like it, but I think it's a little bit too salty, so put less salt. <laughs> it was little, the sauce, the sauce itself was a little bit too salty, but otherwise, it's really good. So, I'm done with dinner. So out of all these recipes, I give the meatloaf a uh, B plus. It's not the greatest meatloaf I ever had, but it's actually pretty good. I love the mustard inside the uh, glaze. That's something that I'm going to do again. And again, the potatoes, really good, but a little bit too salty. They're gonna love it. Me, it's too salty for me because I don't eat salt. So as soon as you put a little bit of salt in something, I'm like, ah, it's too salty. So I'm sure they're gonna love it. So we're gonna have dinner. You see how late it is, right? It's because Edward just got back from work and we eat as a family. We never ate um, separate. So, how was work? Went well. It went well? Yes. Okay, you hungry? Yes. Okay, good. We're going to feed you. So not Great. bad. Today, if you watch yesterday's video, I made bread, I made yogurt, I made meatloaf, and I made potato gratin. So I said I've been pretty, pretty busy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Give me a thumbs up if you like those recipes. The links are down below, and I will see you. Come here. No, 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 no. I will see you later. Look how tall he is. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> too late. Yeah, definitely too late. Love you. Um, I'll talk to you later guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. Okay, so it's a hit and it's a hit over there and it's a hit over there as well and he's on seconds. Um, the potatoes actually weren't as salty as I thought they would be. It was a nice balance with the onions and I scraped my plate and uh, there's not much left. <laughs> so yep, it's a hit. Make it again? Make sure. it again. Yeah. Make it again. Right okay. now. Right now? No. Yeah, go. Okay. okay, bye. Do it. Hey, it's me, and guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it, or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.